What's up guys, today I will be making the first episode of this new series where I make a complete guide on every operator on Rainbow Six Siege. The videos will be coming out once or twice a week and these guide, guides are good for beginners but also good for some advanced players, also they can find something helpful on them. And if you want to see some specific operator next, um, just leave a comment and I will do a guide on, on, on that operator. But le yeah, let's, let's go to the video. Okay, for his loadout, always blade shotgun. The FMG9 is abs absolutely terrible choice for smoke, so Always choose um, his shotgun so you can make rotations and it's just overall a better fit for his kit. And I recommend using the laser because um, your hip fire shots will be more accurate. You know the shots will be will be focused on a smaller area than if it would not have a laser on. And for his secondary, always use the SMG-11. And you should always put a flash hider on it, at least in my opinion. That will reduce the recoil. But yeah, you can basically use any side you want. Same goes for the shotgun. But never use pistol and smoke and never use the FMG9. And for his secondary gadget, always pick the shield because um, if you have a shield and someone is playing behind it, the enemy team really needs coordination to take it down. At least if you have Jaeger or Wamai. So, for example, if if I will play smoke on CC over here, we will have a Jaeger on our team. He will have ADS over there and over there. So the enemy team will have to really put focus and coordination on taking the shield down because they would have to burn the ADSs, you know. So let's talk about smoke's role. He's a two-speed anchor who has a smoke canister as his gadget, which deals damage to enemies who are in the area of the smoke. His main role is to spend enemy team's time and deny entries and areas from, from the enemies. So the longer you stay alive with smoke, the more valuable you are to your team. Because smoke is basically his his job is to stay alive until the end of the round and deny enemies from pushing the site when there's little to no time left. Mm. So smoke is not a roamer. Do not roam with smoke. He is an anchor, and he should always be played like that. He should always stay on site. And do, do not try to get like kills with him, do, do not get too greedy with him, because remember his main role is to stay alive until the end of the round, so he can be very useful for the team. And in the beginning of the round, remember to set up the site, you have a shield, you have a shotgun, you can make rotations and um, feet holes. You know, lines of sight. And I would suggest you to tell your teammates to pick a Jaeger or Wamai, so your shield will be very useful and very hard to counter for the enemy team. At least if you are playing solo queue and the enemy team doesn't have like highly coordinated team play. And in my opinion, if Smoke is played with his full potential, he is um, without a doubt the best best anchor in the game. 
and yeah, here's a clip of me playing smoke in Oregon, upstairs. I've set up my shield in front of the rotation to kids, so I can see the game's wall um, and I can peek the trophy wall, um, but in this clip my shield is kinda misplaced because I can't see the trophy door from it, but that's okay. And yeah, also a few tips about smoke. If the enemy enemy's finger boost is activated, your smoke canister will deal more damage to enemies and the canister will last about 11 seconds. So yeah, that's it for the smoke. Um, I'll see you next time.